What's up everybody, Blood Goat here. Been some time since I've done anything for Fallout 4. Um, and, you know, the obvious reasons why are we've been held back on a huge amount of content. Um, there's my do not touch mods. <laughs> Those are game breaking things that I ran across and I stuffed away. <laughs> um, so, Bethesda E3 2017 was a complete shit show for the most part. Um, we should have known better because the moment that Pete Hines stepped out instead of Todd Howard, we should have known it was going to be nothing but bad news and bullshit. Um, so, you know, with all of that being said, um... Wolfenstein looked amazing. I've never played a Wolfenstein game before. Um, and that really made me want to. It was weird as shit. Um, and it was funny and exciting and everything that I would want from a game. Um, while that was great, um, one of the things that's getting a lot of flack right now is what's going on with um, the Creation Club. A lot of people seem to be very upset about Creation Club, and I understand why. You know, if you're on PC or Xbox One, why are you going to want to pay for mods that you've been getting for free, for content you've been getting free, extra missions and shit like that that are made by creators? Um, so I understand why they're all mad about it and angry, you know, uh, but there's a silver lining that I haven't really seen any other YouTuber truly touch on. For those of us on Sony that have been completely screwed out of the external assets, Creation Club is going to offer us, finally, the ability to be able to have these things. I mean, if they give us a true overgrowth that, you know, comes out better than, you know, what we have, which this one seems to vary. Sometimes it's great, other times I'll load in and there's barely anything at all. Um, it seems very back and forth that way. Um, I mean, just a while ago I was in here and this whole area was loaded up with greenery. Um, so it's very unstable. Um, although I do appreciate it, because it does change the entire game. And I think it's probably conflicting with other mods that I have running. I do have 99 mods, which is what Sony stops us at, even though I have more room on the size limit, just not the amount limit. Stupid. Um, anyways, so hopefully with Creation Club, we don't have that restriction on limit, on the size limit. Um, and hopefully we're not paying, you know, ten fucking dollars for a goddamn gun or a melee weapon. With Creation Club, we're finally going to be able to have external assets. We're finally going to be able to have high quality mods. We're finally going to be able to compare our games to those on PC and those on Xbox One. So I'm excited about it, and I wish more people out there would see the silver lining. That's why I wanted to make this video. So people could see the silver lining. Please pay attention to the silver lining. That, as much of a shit show as 2017 was for Bethesda at E3, um, the one, the two good things is Wolfenstein looks amazing. I give a fuck about the DLC for Dishonored. Um, we have Creation Club coming up. All the other games they were showing look like shit. Creation Club this is going to be amazing for us. Even Fallout VR looks like shit, guys. In all honesty, it looks like complete shit. Um, just because it's VR doesn't mean we don't have to have no body awareness. Like, why do not we not have full body awareness in Fallout VR? Like, that kind of irritates the shit out of me. I don't want to see a gun just in front of me waving back and forth and shooting. That's retarded. It takes the immersion out of it. Like, right off the bat, it's... I, I just see a gun waving. There's no hands on it. You know, all the customization of the character doesn't mean nothing anymore. You just slap anything on. Fuck how he looks. I'm not gonna pay $10 for a fucking gun or a melee weapon. That's bullshit. I really hope that crab thing was a joke. Because I won't pay that for a goddamn fucking companion either. They could fuck off. I'll kill the son of a bitch. Um... <laughs> I will blast that mud crab to hell. So yeah, silver lining guys. 
Creation Club will give us external assets finally. And that is an extremely positive thing. Considering that we haven't had the ability to do anything really well. We, we don't have the high-end mods that everybody got. We, we don't get to run around in student stormtrooper armor. We don't get to run around in the NCR equipment. You know, we don't get extended missions and stories and better survival modes. With Creation Club, we will be able to get that. We will be able to see that. So please, support it. And, and I want to thank everybody for uh, the last video I posted on Fallout. Nearly 2,000 views. Thank you guys for that. I'm so glad I could bring some content to help you guys out that are playing legit uh, without any mods. And to get um, everything possible for keeping Preston Garvey, you know, uh, after the Nuka World shit. So guys, thanks again. Like, share, subscribe, do your thing. Peace.